Uh, I'm really very glad to be here today, and, uh, and happily, I won't talk about fantastic inventions <laughs> like uh, my friends uh, described it earlier. And I would like to talk about democracy, freedom of sp uh, speech, and information technology. During this Arab Spring, we never talked so much about uh, Twitter revolution, Facebook revolution. Indeed, uh, such uh, social networks really accelerated history. But there are a question. What made this uh, social network succeed in or during the Arab Spring? Think about uncontrolled information. Think about that information that can circulate without that anyone can control it. And is what happened during the Arab Spring new in the human history? I don't think so. Think about Gutenberg, this great invention that uh, completely transformed Europe. What Gutenberg did, it was in fact to break the, the, the monopoly owned by that arist aristocracy uh, of church and states. And uh, henceforth, the information, the circulation of information will not be any more tightly controlled. In the other way, does it mean that any new information technology uh, will really release uh, I mean, thoughts will release, words will uh, release, uh, I mean, our feelings, what we write, what we produce. I don't think so either. Think about Nazism. Think about fascism. Think about Stalinism. Just to remind you that during the first half of the 20th century, the best of the information technology was uh, own it and use it by such regimes. But what they did with it? Horror. Why? Because the information was tightly controlled. And to come back to the social networks with the Arab Spring, I mean, they accelerated history because there was that part of the uncontrolled internet that Tunisians, Egyptians, Libyans, Syrians, uh, used for a better word. So, I want to tell you this. We are using an internet today that is free, but there are some people that want to take our freedom in the name of copyright infringement and moral infringement. In Tunisia, we now and we've learned the lesson about somebody called Ben Ali that said, that said one day said, OK, I'm going to protect you from uh, any kind of infringement, and we're going to control the internet. The, 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 mm, this generation that lived under Ben Ali, and a lot of them here, and some of them are among us, they said, no anymore. No anymore. We don't want to give our freedom to any way that uh, to anyone, sorry, to uh, uh, protect us from any kind of crime. So I want to finish on this. We are responsible to leave to our children the internet that we've got today. Let's not let anyone take our freedom, take our freedom of speech generally, in the name of any kind of protection. Thank you.